For the rest of this month, we'll be celebrating Hispanic heritage, bringing you stories of the culture and people who've enriched our community from the very start. Today, I would like to introduce you to a beloved local musician who not only mastered the art of the Spanish guitar, but shares his gift with others. Hispanic Heritage Month is brought to you by Casa Bella Flooring. I just took the class. Javier de los Santos says he started learning to play guitar as a kid, hoping to attract the attention of his female classmates. I, I saw the kids in middle school uh, serenading the girls, and I'm like, I want to do that too. But he never thought about making it a career, let alone how many lives those strings would eventually touch. So I started learning how to play the guitar and sing some songs and then start serenading and play concerts. Born in San Valley, California, but raised in Jerez, Zacatecas, Mexico, Javier understood what it meant to be poor. We didn't have many opportunities, but uh, we took the opportunities we had. He played recorder first, and then the class moved on to a new instrument. So I asked the professor, can I learn how to play the guitar? And he said, well, do you have a guitar? I said, no, I don't have one. OK, but you need one. And so I was able to borrow a guitar uh, from my friends. But I made use of it, and I took advantage of that guitar to, to learn how to play. Eventually, Javier moved beyond school to play on the streets of Mexico. I would play at the, at the buses inside. I would carry my guitar standing and play, and people would give me tips. Uh, uh, also, I would go to the restaurants in the, in the capital of the state where the university is. I would uh, ask the restaurants if I could play for, for money, for tips, and then they say, yeah, sure, and would play for that, and they would offer me food as well. And I enjoy that. It was awesome to feel like something I can do with my instrument and get, uh, in a way, not remunerated, but at least compensated somehow. He moved to Montrose in his 20s and then made the move to Grand Junction. Playing on Main Street uh, in Aspen. Always making time to share his gift. Stephen Schaefer met Javier at church. Really a special person. I mean, it's a huge number of people he's influencing in Mesa College and Mesa County and in the school district and in the church. <laughs> Javier tells me he goes where the music takes him. So yeah, my life is in the guitar world and in music. And I hope many get this opportunity as well uh, to enjoy and, and share the love for, for guitar and the music. And I'm blown away at how, what a good person he is. Reporting for Wake Up Western Slope, I'm Kyra Isaacs. <laughs> <laughs> 